a witness to an extraordinary event. Akari Amun Buridato attains to the Dhamma element. When Venerable Long Por Chab Nasimo and Venerable Long Por Mun Buridato were staying in the Chiang Mai area practicing meditation together at the Dokkam Cave near Sahagorn village, Namfrey Township, Freo District, an event of utmost significance occurred. Although Long Por Chab was not directly involved in the event, he bore witness to the crucial moment when Long Por Mun finally realized the Dhamma element that is, the moment when Luang Por Mun realized the path and fruit of the Buddha's teachings and ultimately became one of the arahants of our time. It all happened on a day, in May 1935, around 3 a.m. As Luang Por Chab was sitting in deep meditation, his mind still and sublime, shining brightly immersed in samadhi, all of a sudden, the brightness and stillness of his heart was blown away in an instant. That very moment, he heard a tremendously loud resounding thunderclap, so massive that everything started to tremble and shake. Later on, Long Por Chab would describe this bang as being as if a nuclear explosion had gone off right next to him. The force was so powerful that everything started to shake as if the whole world was breaking apart and dissolving into the tiniest particles. The whole scene, however, was unfolding solely within his own mind, the outside world remained the same. Never since he had begun practicing, had Luang Por Chab experienced a meditational phenomenon like this. Inwardly examining his mind, he tried to figure out what was responsible for this mind state. But in the end, he couldn't discover anything unusual. Therefore, he directed his investigation outwards to inquire as to the reason for such a phenomenon to have occurred. As soon as he sent his mind outward, it shot straight towards the nearby dwelling place of Luang Por Mun. There he witnessed, with his mind's eye, multifarious male and female devas crowding around Long Poor Mun. There were more heavenly beings than he had ever seen before. Hordes of devas from every single heavenly plane gathered to such an extent that the whole of space, from heaven to earth, seemed to be completely saturated. Devas from more than a billion galaxies clustered around Long Poor Mun. The brilliance of their luminosity shone so brightly that the entire surroundings of the Dokkam cave were flooded with light, fully illuminated by the powerful radiance of virtue. And yet, the luminosity of all the Deva gods combined was nothing compared to the mesmerizing brilliance and majestic beauty of Long Poor Mun's own heart, the blazing radiance of his Dhamma perfection exceeded all else. Luang Por Chab would later report that Luang Por Mun's grandeur and beauty was so much brighter and more majestic than could possibly be described in words. After admiring Luang Por Mun's dazzling brilliance for a sufficient period of time, Luang Por Chab pulled back his mind and thought to himself, this is certainly due to an important occurrence in the great Ajahn's practice today. I'm quite sure about it. The very next day, around 4 p.m., Long Por Chab went to Long Por Mun's dwelling place to prepare the wash water for his daily bath. Just as Long Por Chab was handing his teacher a fresh bathing cloth, Long Por Mun asked him, Tan Chab, how is your practice lately? Long Por Chab replied respectfully, My practice is as usual, Venerable Ajahn. But yesterday something happened in my meditation that almost literally blew my mind away. There was an explosion, a bang as loud as if a huge bomb had detonated right next to me. I've never experienced anything like it in my meditation. Luang Por Mun then asked, How do you assess the matter? Luang Por Chab replied, I started looking for causes in my heart, but couldn't find anything unusual. But when I directed my mind outwards, immediately I saw an incredibly wonderful light emanating from you, more radiant than I have ever seen before. And on top of that, I have never seen such multitudes of devas gather around you, Long Poor. But still, I don't know why so many devas would have visited you on such a scale. Long Poor Mun answered, The multitude of devas you saw yesterday gathered in such enormous numbers to express their anumadana, their emphatic joy and appreciation, to me. They congratulated me for realizing the Dhamma element, the complete liberation from suffering and the end of the samsaric transmigration. From now on, there is no further birth for me. Everything is cut off completely. To the extent that an arahant is without delusion, that's exactly how I am now without delusion. 
The explosion you heard was caused by the Deva saluting proclamation of appreciation and recognition. The Anumadana blast, created by their psychic power, in all likelihood, impacted your mind so violently that it was properly shaken and catapulted you out of Samadhi. Luang Por Chab later tells us, At that moment, all of my hair stood on end. I would never have dreamt to ever hear such a statement from Luang Por Mun personally, nor, up to that day, had I ever heard of this term, Dhamma element, in my entire life. But it kindled such a mental delight, pity, that all mindfulness and self-control escaped me and tears began streaming down my face. In that moment, I could not find words appropriate enough to do justice to that highest level of damic realization which my revered and beloved master, who was like mother and father to me, had attained. So I fell on my knees in front of him and bowed low to his feet. Kneeling with my chest bent down, staring at his feet, I started crying profusely without any inhibition. I was so stunned and overwhelmed by the fact that he had penetrated to the Dhamma element and had become a fully awakened arahant. Never had I cried so much in my life. I don't know how to describe the feelings in my heart that day. It is too deep a spiritual experience that it defies any description. Up until that day, Wang Poor Mun was generally very strict and would reprimand me if I lost my composure. But however harsh, he scolded me, I always took it to heart, that's why I had expected a harsh admonishment on that day. But now he said nothing. He just let me cry, let me express my feelings freely. When I calmed down after a while, Wang Poor Mun said to me, Well, look at that one, Tan Chab. See how far the mind can go. Things can be so profound that your mind is so overwhelmed by spiritual joy that it even makes you sob. Isn't that right Tan Chab? I replied to him, I am speechless at the idea that you, Wang Poor, have finished your work in the Buddha's teachings. That you have overcome all suffering and that now I am left behind and still have to keep practicing. I wish to understand the Dhamma, to see the Dhamma, in this very life, just like you Wang Poor. Wang Poor Mun responded, If you want to achieve path, fruit and nibbana in this life, under no circumstances slacken your efforts. It takes unremitting dedication for the practice. No slacking up, no matter what. Practice as I have taught you so far. If you practice exactly as I have instructed, you will realize to your complete satisfaction path, fruit and nibbana in this very life. That, I guarantee you. From the biography of Luang Por Chop Thanasamo Nasamopch, LP2A edition, pages 93 to 95.